Hello, I'm Derek Doran, and today I'm going to read and review my poem, Crash. Crash. One of my cultural reference points of the 1980s is the Smith song, Reel Around the Fountain. That's what was playing on the car radio when me and my mate Ken crashed on the M62. We were on our way back to Liverpool from the 1984 League Cup final. Even now I can't have a car crash without thinking about that song. We'd beaten Everton 1-0. Graham soon has scored. Ken's dad Eddie came out to pick us up. He was a blue nose. We were a pair of gobby red shite. The last thing in the world he wanted to see. Even now I can't see Graham Sooners on the telly without thinking about Eddie. I damaged my glasses in the impact, just when Morrissey sang about falling out of bed twice. Shit happens. Sadly there's usually someone worse off. I needed new specs anyway. Even now I can't fall out of bed without thinking about being pinned and mounted like a butterfly. I ran across the carriageway and tried to pull a guy out of his wrecked car. He was one of those worse off people. He was caked in blood and he asked me to stop pulling because it hurt too much. Give him his due, he laughed about writing off the wife's car. He was a red, she was a blue. A mixed marriage. She was going to be livid when she found out. She'd say he wrecked her car and then died on purpose. Even now I can't think about dying without thinking about not being able to not die. Morrissey was callously oblivious and he'd bank his royalty check one day. The rest of the Smiths were in this too. I don't imagine they gave a single thought for poor Eddie's plight or the bloke in the wrecked car, or the bloke's bereaved wife. Even now, I can't bank royalty checks without remaining callously oblivious too. They built an Ikea superstore at the spot where we crashed. I went back once and there was no plaque, no acknowledgement. It's as if Reel Around the Fountain had never been written. Perhaps if we crashed to heaven knows I'm miserable now, things would have been different. Even now, I can't visit Ikea without thinking about how miserable I am. But life goes on. I left the M62 behind and I took to wearing contact lenses. I moved to Scotland and began crashing my car on the M8 near the gasworks. Glasgow's miles better, a sign there proclaimed. No, it fucking wasn't. I crashed twice in two days in the exact same place. In fairness to them, the Smiths had no hand in either incident. Even now I can't turn on the gas without thinking about the M8. If we ever play Everton again in a League Cup final, it'll throw up old memories, rip open the scars. These days I listen to new music on Spotify, but bands never sing about fountains, none of them. Even now I can't reel around a fountain without opening up old wounds. At a time when I've just transitioned to a new pair of prescription glasses, hello, uh, I thought it appropriate to cover Crash on this channel. Um, and as with many of my pieces, Crash fits more into the category of freeform prose than it does poetry. Um, though I prefer the overarching label uh, of spoken word to describe what I do. Uh, and this piece is a narrative that spans several decades, uh, though the core of it took place in 1984. Uh, I hasten to add um, that I'm, I'm not the driver of the vehicle um, that crashed, okay? Uh, th this all happened be uh, before I'd learned to drive, so uh, I just think I'd make that clear. The thing I remember most clearly about the crash was listening to that Smith song just prior to it happening. Um, but as the accident unfolded, it did so not only in slow motion, 
but also complete silence. It was really weird and very vivid. Um, fast forward 10 years and into Scotland um, and although I was at the wheel for those two crashes that happened on the M8, uh, I hold myself entirely blameless for both of them. Um, the accidents only really started to happen when I began driving buses a few years ago. Okay, um, That's when I really came into my own in that regard. But I, I'm hopeful that that is also now a thing of the past. Obviously, we all have um, accidents and, and mishaps in life, you know. Um, and I think I've learned that those times in life when we crash in, in a wider sense are the times that we have the best opportunity to learn the most about ourselves. Plain sailing may be the preferred option, okay. Um, but I know that those periods of life when I when I've faced the biggest traumas are the ones that have often been followed by periods of growth and joy, you know, and abundance. Um, no pain, no gain, as they say. So what about the Smiths then? Um, I realise they're not everyone's cup of tea, right? Um, and also, I think many fans from back in the day have become increasingly disillusioned with Morrissey and his expressed uh, extreme right-wing political views, uh, which weren't really apparent back in the day. Uh, and I get that, you know, um, people are very disappointed with that. Okay, but I never really saw the Smiths as an overtly political band, you know. Um, I just prefer to remember the music and their 80s heyday. Uh, a quick glance through my vinyl collection this morning uh, revealed that I do have quite a few of the singles, but I only got one album of theirs, and that was the debut one, uh, which does have Reel Around the Fountain on as the, uh, there you go, the first track on side one and probably listening to that song that night was the reason I bought the album because I really love the song and I really love the album um, yeah. okay that just about wraps it up for this video if you've enjoyed Crash you can find it in my second collection Wasp in my cockpit published by Black Eyes Publishing UK and as usual there is a copy of the poem in the description box below. So please subscribe to the channel and stick around. I'll be back soon with more of my poetry so until then take care and please drive safely. Bye now.